Kenny Relief is a organization that this nurse founded. 12 months of the year, a group will come, and every time it's a different clinic. So it'll be OBGYN, which is the clinic I went with, or it'll be general, or it'll be eye doctor, or oral, it'll be, it's just a range. And like every time, every the whole town knows about it for miles, and people will walk for days to get the help that they need. My mom's a nurse practitioner, and my dad's a CRNA, a anesthesiologist. They probably go every two years. They try to go every year. Once they went, they had always said that they wanted us to go with them. I didn't actually want to go at first because I was like 16 and I was like, you know, like I want to stay here for the summer and like hang out with my friends, which was stupid and I like regret it saying that, but I was scared. Really, most of it was being scared. They brought up that they really thought that it was important for all of us to go like as a family and like experience it. One experience that sticks out is um, a lady named Dorothy. I met Dorothy, I actually took her picture at first. She was waiting in line with some other ladies and I asked them to smile and um, they were waiting to see a doctor. And eventually she found out she had to get surgery. Um, she had fibroids um, in her uterus we had to start her IV, um, figure out how to like figure out the medicine. She couldn't eat, she was super hungry, she couldn't drink. Then she went into surgery and I actually got to help um, a lady named Mindy um, perform the surgery. It was really scary, I was shaking and like Mindy would be like cut here and I'd be like, she'd be like stop shaking. <laughs> I didn't even know what fibroids were, but when I pulled one out it was like white and huge and like there's like big like bulges on, like on their stomach. If you have them in your uterus, it's hard for you. You can't have kids. They're just very, very painful and like this was the only time they could even get them out because where else would they go to get help? When she recovered and woke up, she laid on a bunk bed outside. Um, there was a bunch of, they didn't have like a recovery room, so we would put bunks outside in the grass. And she asked me if she had HIV. And I had no clue, so I had to go talk to my mom. She was running the whole nurse practitioner area of it, so she looked at her file. So I got to walk out there and tell her that she didn't have HIV, and it was the most like rewarding experience. It was just really sweet, and she was hugging me, and and then she told me to go run and get a pen. So I went inside, grabbed a pen, ran back out there, and um, she gave me her hand and told me to write my name on it and she was like tracing her hand like it was like so precious and she said that she would pray for me every day until she died. They say pole pole which is like slow slow like not everything so fast and um, they just they're not so in a rush like we are to go places they they take more time with the people they care about. I think I would definitely want to go back there <laughs> maybe like make something that had to do with Kenya Relief because of the impact it made on me. It was just like amazing to go somewhere else and to see that there's another way to live and how grateful they are there. And they just are more hopeful than any anyone I've ever met. Everyone you meet is so appreciative and it made me really admire them a lot.